Hi, everybody. Happy Wednesday to you. It's 3 News Senior Meteorologist Matt Wentz with a look at our forecast. Appreciate you joining us here on our YouTube channel. We had some showers around this morning. Showers are still scattered out there, but it's just mainly cloudy. We are starting to bring in some sun peaks from the north. Temperatures this afternoon, 60s inland, 50s lakeshore with a breeze off the lake. If you miss the rain, it's coming back and it'll be back tonight. In fact, we've got a lot of rain coming our way the next couple days. I'm a little concerned about flooding issues, especially after what we just went through with all the rain. But the rain arrives tonight. Pretty good dose of it tomorrow morning waking up left likely some leftover rain as the frontal boundary lifts off towards the north. Tomorrow's a day that you're going to want to be weather ready. Uh, we have a severe weather threat with an area of low pressure that will be moving in. We'll have some rounds of some rain and storms throughout the day as it looks right now. We'll get up into the 70s as long as we can get long enough clearing, which it looks like we'll do. And by tomorrow afternoon into the evening, that's when we'll be tracking some kind of line of strong to severe thunderstorms in here. We'll see how the models handle this. It doesn't mean we're going to have big storms in here at five. This could shift as we go throughout the future model runs. But either way, the potential's there tomorrow afternoon and evening for some kind of round of severe weather to roll through. And all modes of severe weather are possible with that. Damaging winds, hail, heavy rain, even tornadoes with that. So uh, the atmosphere is structured that way. doesn't mean we'll see that. But again, the atmosphere is certainly set up for that. And that will move through, and then we're fine as we go into our Friday. Exception being it's going to be on the cooler side, and we are going to have more rain around in terms of how much rain this takes you all the way through Friday. Another one to two, maybe even three inches of rain. That's why I'm worried about flooding because we are already waterlogged across Northeast Ohio. If you're heading to the Guardians game tonight, we look OK. We'll have mainly cloudy skies around uh, a few showers, maybe dance in the radar as well, but it does look OK. Where do we dry out in the forecast? Well, this big system moves on through. We'll still have rain and wind around here on Friday, but by early Saturday, we'll have some rain that pulls out quickly. We'll go just like that to some sunshine. Temperatures will start to recover as well. Saturday really looks beautiful at this point. And then Sunday, we'll watch the system off towards the north, which will have some thunderstorms north of us. As of right now, I'm going to keep that in the forecast with just a late day storm chance. And then we stay pretty active with lots of rain coming our way to later next week. In terms of rainfall in total, I mean, we're soaked across the eastern half of the U.S., including right here in Ohio. Your Union Home Mortgage seven day forecast. 64 today with lingering showers around. Those mainly were earlier, earlier today. And then we deal with a weather ready day tomorrow before we turn colder on Friday with rain and wind around. But there's your weekend forecast. Sun breaks out on Saturday. We warm up on Sunday and we stay in the 70s Sunday, Monday and Tuesday of next week. So spring has certainly sprung here in Northeast Ohio. We've got another update on tomorrow's severe weather chance coming on the TV side of things at four o'clock. Join us then. Have a great day, everybody.